Llama Index versus Langchain. What's the difference between these two libraries? When would you want to choose one over the other? Um, this video is for anyone like me who's just started out and was trying to figure out, like, you know, when do I need Langchain or why do I need Langchain versus Llama Index? Uh, especially because there's a, a big overlap. And the overlap is that you can use either of these to query your own external data using a large language model. Um, the difference is Llama Index is more focused on giving you a set of tools to create, um, you know, your own kind of knowledge graph or index using these different index types. So there's a list index. You can use the vector store index, tree index. And you can arrange and assemble these indexes in a way that makes sense for your data um, so that you can you can query it. Now, with Langchain, the big feature, uh, in my opinion, at least, is the agents. Um, the agents uh, allow you to use the language model to uh, like make decisions about what tool to use, right? So um, for example, you can use within Langchain several different indexes as a tool and then use the Langchain agent as like a router to decide okay, when should I use this uh, list index? Or when do I use the, the vector store index? So um, Langchain is, a, is much more like uh, robust for creating these applications. But again, there's overlap. If you're just getting started, when I was just getting started, I was all in on Llama Index until I reached um, what I felt like were some limitations. And then I, I moved over to Langchain and started getting familiar with this as well. So, um, you know, for anyone just getting started, start with start with Llama Index until you've, you know, you reach a roadblock where you can't get any further. Um, and then move on over to, to Langchain. Um, you'll, you'll get it a lot easier that way. At least that's how I got it. All right. Hopefully you found this useful. Any questions, leave them in the comments.